Hey, Elsu here with another trade of video. So in this video, I will show you three very profitable stat track trade ups that you can use to grow your inventory. So the first two trade ups are two really easy to spam and high profitable trade trade ups that you guys can use. So make sure to try them out. The last trade up will then be a 50% profit, which is also very low risk. So make sure to Watch until the end to check that trade up out. So before we start with the video, make sure to enter my AK-47 Redline giveaway. It is in another video, so make sure to check the link for the description. I will announce the winners for this giveaway tomorrow, so check it out right now, real quick. Okay. So before we start with the trade ups, keep in mind that the currency used in this video will be in US dollars and that the price of the inputs shown will be in steam market prices. This means that you could increase your profit significantly if you use buy orders instead, but I use steam market for an easier time for you guys. Also, keep in mind that the price of the outcomes will be the lowest listings in the steam community market. This means that you could also increase your profit significantly if you use if you sold your outcomes for a slightly higher price than Steam market price. So also for the calculations in this video, we will use TradeUpSpy. So make sure to check out TradeUpSpy using my link tradeupspy.com slash ref slash elsu link in the description for more free TradeUps. So with that out of the way, let's go to our first TradeUp. So for the so the first trade up is going to be a mil spec stat track mix of using six field tested phoenix skins and four well worn falchion skins. So for the phoenix skins, you can use the UMP Corporal, the Negev Terrain, the Tech Nine Sandstorm, and the Mag Seven Heaven Guard. These four skins will cost you around twenty nine cents each, and for the falchion skins, you can really only use the Nova Ranger since it is the only cheap, well-worn falchion skin out there. So the Nova Ranger will cost you around 31 cents each. So to get the best outcomes possible, you, you must keep the average float to be below 0 0.285. To get this average float right, I recommend you to use Phoenix skins with floats less than 0 0.2 and falchion skins with floats less than 0 0.41. These are both really easy to get, especially the well-worn Nova Rangers since it is a really high float for well-worn skins. So the total cost of this trade-up will add up to $2.98. For the outcomes, you will get a massive profit if you hit the M4A for Evil Daimyo in the minimal wear condition since it is more than $10 profit. You will also get a profit with the USB Guardian which is around $4, and the MP9 Ruby Poison Dart will give you around a $1 profit. The other outcomes will then be a slight loss, but it will really be only around $1, so that should be more than fine. So by multiplying the price of each outcome to its percentage, then by adding them all up, then by dividing it to the total cost, you will get the profit of this trade-up to be 14.09% after steam tax. So this is a really nice profit, especially with how easy it is to spam. So with that out of the way, let's try this trade-up out. So in here, let's find, so we are going to use two Mag 7 Heaven Guards and two Tech-9 Sandstorms and two Negev Terrains and of course four well-worn Nova Rangers. So let's hope to get an M4 Evil, Evil Daimyo. Okay, three, two, one. Uh, that's a loss, but let's check how much. It is like a one dollar and fifty cents loss, but that should be fine. Uh, 
we are now zero for one for our trade ups today. So the next trade up will also be a stat track mil spec mix of now using six minimal wear gamma two skins and four factory new spectrum skins. For the gamma two skins, you can use the GSG G1 ventilator, the five seven Cumbria, or the CZ seventy five imprint, which will cost you around thirty eight cents each. And for the spectrum skins. You can use the Bison Jungle Slipstream, the MP7 Akobin, or the P250 Ripple, which will cost you around 33 cents each. So the average float of this trade-up must be less than 0.07. For the Gamma 2 skins, I recommend you to use inputs with floats less than 0.095. And for the Spectrum skins, I recommend you to use flo inputs with floats less than 0.032. So for the outcomes, you will get triple your money if you hit the Glock Weasel or the SG Triarch, which is around 24% of the time. You will then get around $2 if you hit the Deagle Directive, 12% of the time. You will then be at about break even if you hit the UMP Scaffold and lose around a dollar with the other outcomes. So by multiplying the price of each outcome to its percentage, then by adding them all up, then by dividing it to the total cost of this trade-up, you can get the profit of this trade-up to be around 13.62%. So now that that, it has, now that that is out of the way, let's go to the trade-up. The trade-up. So in here, we are going to use three factory new P250 ripples. And five CZ imprints and this MP7 Aquabin, and lastly the GSG G1 ventilator. So let's hope for a Glock or a, an SG. Okay, three, two, one. <sighs> no. I think that was the worst outcome. Oh, not really, but that was one of the worst outcomes. That's really sad. <laughs> okay. We have been really unlucky with the first two trade-ups, so let's hope to get a win in this last trade-up. So the last trade-up will also be a mil-spec stat track mix of now using seven minimal wear shattered web skins and three factory new horizon skins. You can use any of the mil spec skins from the Shattered Web skins and they will cost you around 75 cents each. And for the factory new Horizon skins, you can use the Dual Beretta Shred, the Revolver Survival List, and the AUG Amber Slipstream, which will cost you around 97 cents each. To get factory new outcomes on all possible outputs, you must keep the average float below 0.07. For the minimal wear shattered web skins, I recommend you to use inputs with floats less than 0.085. And for the factory new horizon skins, you can use inputs with floats less than 0.035. For the outcomes, this is a 82% chance to profit. So I will be really mad if I don't hit this. You will get $2 if you get the P2000 Obsidian the Bison Embargo, and the MP7 Neon Fly. And you will get a $4 profit if you hit the CZ Eco. You will also get around a $10 profit if you hit the AWP Po and the AUG Arctic Wolf and get more than $20 if you hit the AK-47 Rot Rod. So by multiplying the price of each outcome to its percentage, then adding them all up, then dividing it to the total cost of this trade-up, you will get a profit of around 50% in this trade-up after Steam Talks. So with that out of the way, let's try to get an AK Rat Rod. Ooh. I hope I don't get the 18% chance to lose. Oh my god, I will be really mad. Okay, so we're going to use two AUG Amber Slipstreams for Dual Beretta's Balance. This GSG G1, two MP5 Acid Wash, sorry, 
and then R8 Revolver Survivalist. So let's hope to get an AK Ratrod or any profit would be okay. Okay. Three, two, one. Ugh. Fuck. Really unlucky video today, man. That was another loss. We hit the 18% chance again. That was really, really unlucky. Okay, so I will cut the videos to get how much we lost today. So before I tell you how much we lost today, make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel for more trade-up videos like this. So back to the trade-ups. For today, we got a P2000 handgun, a SCAR-20 power car, and a Nova Gila. The total of these three outcomes after Steam tax is $9.73. The, the total cost of the three trade-ups we did today is $16.08. This means that we had a loss of $6.35 a day. We were really, really unlucky today, so that feels bad. Anyway, if you made it to this point of the video, comment down below RIP for how unlucky we were today. Also, don't forget to like the video and su subscribe to my channel for more trade of videos like this. That is it for the day. Always remember to gamble mathematically and to trust my math. This is Elsu and peace out.